So we are at page 84 and we're going to be uh, answering that, uh, the practice book question. Maya, please read the first question, then answer. Where is the Khyber Pass and why is it important? Um, the famous Khyber Pass is between Afghanistan and Pakistan, and it has served as a route for trade and invading armies for thousands of years. Thank you very much, Maya. Question two, uh, Reem Gouda. Um, the text on the right highlight that others of water that uh, border Southwest Asia. Okay, so we have um, the Red Sea, the Black Sea, uh, Mediterranean Sea, uh, Arabian Sea, and the waterway called uh, the Strait of Hormuz and the uh, Swiss Canal. Um, that's it. And the Dead. Uh, and the Dead Sea. And the Dead Sea. Thank you very much, Yarin. Okay. Uh, Judy, next question. Uh, why do you think the Strait of Hormuz is stra uh, strategically important? Uh, be because it connects, uh, it, it is connected uh, to the ocean by a tragic uh, waterway. Nah. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the Arabian Peninsula and the Persian Gulf is connected to the ocean by a tragic wa waterway, which is the Strait of Hormuz. Yes, thank you very much. Question four. Uh, Hannah Dorgheim, question four. What makes the Dead Sea distinct and easy? Yes, this is This is the meaning, yeah. What makes it important? Okay. What is special? You'll find it at the end of the page. Okay, fine. Uh, between Israel and Jordan, it's also a land, a land loop. Um, the law, okay. It is the world's lowest body of water. It shows it is in the world's lowest land elevation. Thank you. Uh, let's move to question five. Uh, Nano? Um, it's, a, it's the largest sand sea in the world. It's um, another yeah. word for empty quarter. Translates to empty. Uh, what is the Roba al Khali? Yes. Largest sand sea in the world and empty quarter. Okay. Hamdi, question six. Uh, how was how has tectonic activity helped shape landforms in South Asia? Um, okay, uh, one minute. Uh, it's this, uh, this um, no, I, I don't know this one, but I don't know that I, I know the next one. Who can help uh, Hannah with this one? Okay, Maya. I'm sorry. No. Uh, miss number, uh, number six, sir. Huh? Yes. Okay. Any oh. in, in general, guys, how do tectonic activity help shaping any? Please, can I help? Yes. Yes. They move apart, so they create new waterways and landforms. Yes. Whether they move apart or they collide or hit, hit each other, which participate in creating new landforms, whatever. But, uh, it's a, a, a mountain, a, a river, a whatever the land form is. Okay, next question, Yahana, Yahana Uh What is the difference, uh, describe the difference between an oasis and a wadi? Uh, wadis are stream beds that are dry uh, uh, much of the year. 
uh, but uh, an oasis is an area in a desert where underground water allows uh, plants to grow year round. Thank you very much. Okay, who can answer question number eight? Question eight. Okay, Judy. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, one minute. In what parts of Southwest Asia uh, can farmers probably grow uh, crops uh, without irrigation? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it wants uh, the temperature, yeah, without irrigation. And without irrigating the land. Oh, okay. Um, so it will come naturally. Yes. Uh, uh, from uh, from rivers? No. no if I use the river, it will be irrigated. But it will, if it come naturally, it will come uh, from, from rain. Yes. Rain and uh, oh, under the like, underground uh, rain. Yes, rain. Uh, which areas, ba? It can come from rain, even from underground water. Uh, so, uh, like an ocean, uh, and it can come from rains and wadis, which yes, uh, yes. Huh? yes, it's right, huh? No. Like so we're right. Places. Um, the in the uh, in highlands and mountain ranges. Yes. Okay. Yes. Next page. Question number uh, nine. Who can help us with question number nine? Okay, Nenu. Okay. Um. Oh, well, it's not, it's not yes. oh, okay. Natural gas. Read the question first. Wait. Read the text on the right. Highlight recent discoveries in Afghanistan that may have may help it rise out of property. Yes. Enormous deposits of many minerals, among them were iron, copper, gold, cobalt, lithium, and rare earth elements used to make electronic devices. And also we have the most important two uh, resources, which are the natural gas and the crude oil. These are very important source of income in Afghanistan at the same time. Gwaiit, uh, Adam Gwaiit. Yes. Read the question 10. Five countries that border the Persian Gulf hold more than half the oil that has been discovered in the world. Name three of the countries. Iran, Iraq, or Kuwait. Thank you very much, Adam. Um, we have the last two questions. What are the major physical features in Southwest Asia? Uh, who can tell us about the major physical features? Mountains. Uh, yes. Mountains. Yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Yajut. Uh, we have the highest mountains, the uh, which are Hindu Kush. Yes. Uh, Hindu Kush range and the, the mountain ranges from natural barriers to travel trade and uh, that which is hyperpass. All right. Where? Hmm? Continue. Where? Arabian Peninsula, or Antalyan Plateau, yes. and the uh, Turks. Uh, Tallest, well, the highest uh, uh, peak in oh. uh, Yes. Oh, that's okay. What about the bodies of water, Maya? Uh, the bodies of water, a Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea, um, Red Sea, and part of the Indian Ocean called the Arabian Sea. Okay. Uh, next question, how has the petroleum affected the countries that export it? I answered this in class. Reem? Okay, um, the petroleum um, has brought wealth to few people and it has been used to improve the lives of the people or to bring about um, modernization. Yes, thank you very much. It has moved people from modernization. It has it changed their life for the best, Taban. All right. Um, 
Guys, that's it for the practice book. We have finished this lesson. Your homework for this week is to finish the practice book questions and send it to me on uh, the assignment. All right? Anyone want to ask, uh, ask any question about this lesson? Anyone has any question? No, thank you. Miss right. Howe, Mr. Homework, and we're going practice book that we're doing Yes, this is our homework. You're going to be answering the questions, then send it to the assignments. And the deadline will be Saturday night. Yes. Okay. Right. See you next week, inshallah. Bye.